And welcome to part 4 of the Zero playthrough in Mega Man X4. When we last left off, we had just reached Web Spider. Ah, Zero. I've been expecting you. Spider, you work for Repliforce? Yes, I lead a renegade unit now. There's still time. Call off the coup. No, I know where my loyalties lie. His loyalties lie with Repliforce, in case you couldn't tell by the health meter. <laughs> and uh, oh, thanks to the people commenting on my vids, I just found out something that I didn't know earlier. That uh, X can use Slash Beast's weapon to cut the string and make the fight that much easier. So thank you, fans. Thank you for telling me something I didn't know before. That being said, I still didn't know how to do it when I was zero. So I didn't do it in this playthrough. I recorded the whole game before I started any commentary at all. Because if I don't have a whole game to offer people, then I'm not going to, you know, do commentary yet. I want to make sure I have every footage that I need. So also, I know people have been telling me that the Colonel's weak against ice. Thank you for telling me that. I now know that as well. But you'll not see me use it. You won't see me use it on Colonel later in the Zero playthrough. Because again, I've recorded this a long, long time ago. And, uh, yeah. Your advice, it's its good advice, but I, I can't use it right now. The footage is all recorded. Oh, yeah, and web spider's easy. Just slash him a lot. <laughs> Dodge the webs, slash him when you can. Pretty basic fight. He could be a first maverick for first-time players. He's very easy. By defeating him, we get Raijin Geki! Special button on the ground. It's a lightning attack, effective against distant enemies. Basically, Zero charges his beam saber, or his Z saber, whatever you want to call it, into an electrical saber. So all you have to do is push triangle, or Y, or whatever the button is on the top, and he just sends out this big lightning sword, sticking straight out. It takes a little time to get it out there. It's not the fastest move in the world, but it does all right. It especially does alright with Split Mushroom, the Maverick we're taking on now. It also does well against uh, Magma Dragoon. Yeah, I don't know if anyone noticed, but when you play uh, all the Mavericks, three of the Mavericks have a different symbol to their health bar than, uh, than the other crew do. The other crew have Repliforce symbols, and it's the big R. And the other guys who... Well, they don't. <laughs> Jeez. I lost my train of thought. The other guys have Sigma logos. The Sigma logo that we've seen from X1 and onwards. And, uh, you know. That would imply that they're working for Sigma and not Repliforce. See, si not all of Repliforce are Mavericks, folks. X and Zero are accusing them of being Mavericks when they really aren't. They're just being put into a bad situation because Sigma framed them and made everyone think Repliforce was bombing the shit out of a city. In reality, it was all Magma Dragoon's fault and all sorts of bullshit. In fact, the Maverick we're taking on now, Split Mushroom, again, another one of Sigma's henchmen who is working for Sigma and not for the Repliforce. I, I like that little touch they added. They could have all had the Repliforce meter bar, but no, they, w they decided to add the Sigma meter bar to indicate like which side they were on, and that's... I like that little detail. That's a fun detail. Anyway, this is the sub-boss of Split Mushroom. Like with the X playthrough, he will attack you wherever you're standing, and it's easy to get out of the way, but he keeps destroying the platforms that you're on, which, uh, of course, isn't good, because when you have no platforms, you'll land on spikes, which are instant kills, and those are never fun. All you have to do is dash out of the way, and when he's up, just slash the hell out of him. If you do not slash the hell out of him, you're going to waste your shots, and that's never a good idea. But with the Z-Saber, pretty damn easy to, t to cut him down. Zero is a powerhouse. Just a powerhouse. <laughs> I've been doing the X5 playthrough for you guys, recording the footage right now, and uh, most of the X5 playthrough is going to be Zero, because I, I just love playing as him over X. 
There's our heart tank. You gotta climb the block as it falls, but you gotta, you know, be quick about it. I think you can dash jump off of one of the, the blocks and still make it, but uh, I don't recall. Now we come to the elevator section. X had the privilege of shooting the flowers from a ranged direction, which uh, made killing the flowers a lot easier. But when you're zero, you gotta get in close to those flowers without touching the spiky body parts of the flowers. The spiky body parts aren't one-hit kills, but they still hurt you pretty badly. The pillars and stuff, the blue blocks that are coming up now, if you are standing under them, they will kill you. Those are one-hit kills. So you gotta watch where you're standing. It's the slow elevator ride from hell. But at least it doesn't take up most of the level. Anyway, folks, now we're at Split Mushroom. You made it this far. I'm impressed. You interested in a real challenge? Who's your commanding officer? Never mind that, it's time to fight! The hint is on the health bar. <laughs> so with X we had the easy opportunity to use Lightning Web and we could keep him in that pose forever. Not so much with Zero. He loves to create two copies of himself much like Gemini Man in Mega Man 3. One's fake, one's real. You know which one's the real one because he's more colored and not transparent when they fall uh, in the beginning of the drop. Hit the guy with the lightning saber, he'll jump to the other side, hit him again. Like, swing before he lands, in fact, because it takes a while to, s to send the lightning saber out anyway. And then he'll run back and run back. And then he sticks to the wall to create all these rainbow-colored split mushrooms to twirl at you that are fairly easy to dodge because they move at you very slowly. They move where you are, but they're so slow to dodge that uh, it's pretty easy. Split mushroom ridiculously easy. Now we learned the greatest ability in Zero's uh, arsenal, Kuenbu. It's actually two abilities, really. Now Zero can double jump. Yes, he can double jump. If you're <laughs> if you're falling and you just screwed up your jump, jump again and you'll manage to, you know, jump yourself out of that bad situation. And he also gets this nice little uh, spinning blade attack. So now when you hit the swing button while you're jumping, Zero does this big spiral circular attack that is just so fucking convenient. It's so fucking convenient because it hits everything around him and nothing is safe. Nothing. <laughs> it's great for taking out these yellow orbs in Cyber Peacock stage because once again, we have to race to get all the best prizes here. We don't get a Dr. Light Capsule, so the Light Capsule gets replaced with a free man. But uh, the heart tank and sub tank are still there, and we're going to want those. Remember, the jumping slash we got from Split Mushroom is good here, so uh, we're going to want it. They're pretty lenient with how fast you are, though. I got caught. Took me, cost me like five seconds, but no, still got the S rank. You got to be fast, but you, you can't, you don't have to be like speed racer fast, you know? It's all. I want to say... Understandable? <laughs> I don't know. Hey. Still, the double jump easily makes Zero better than Mega Man X. Just the double jump alone. I love that fucking double jump. What can I say? He's a better character to play with in my opinion. Zero is just a powerhouse. He's athletic, he's strong, he can double jump. He's the, the whole deal, man. It's, it's no wonder why he got his own series on the GBA. No wonder at all. Which I still haven't played through most of the G Zero games at all. I played Zero One once, but that was about it. <laughs> I, I don't know anything about the Zero series. All I know is Zero looks a lot more feminine. Which, uh, I guess if it floats your boat, but you know. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just saying. But I will see you in part five.